I'm back again, you're a Metal Express on www.funic.fm and I'm at the Exeter Tattoo Convention and I've got Mark with me who's a tattooist from the Tattoo Parlour Body Shop down in Tall Point Cornwall, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, yeah. and great. uh... Having a great day, yes, enjoying first the show. Time. Yeah, loving it. First time, loving isn't it? it? Yeah. So it's uh, all sort of new to Exeter, so... Yeah. But I don't know, have you done any uh, conventions in the past? Yeah, yeah, we've just... Uh, this is our third one this year. We uh, recently worked up in Telford, which was a, a two-day whole weekend do, and then we worked at um, Ink and Iron uh, two weeks ago in Edgbaston. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got this one, and we're working up in Bridgewater at the Somerset Convention at the end of May as okay. well. And then possibly one towards Christmas in November will probably work as well. And you were saying just a minute ago that you've been doing this uh, tattooing now for some years. Yeah, yeah, I've been tattooing now for nearly 17 years. It's my um, I'm lucky and privileged enough to have had a career before this. I, I was a Marine for 16 years and then um, left and decided I needed what I wanted to do was to last me until retirement and this was what I chose luckily. Mm -hmm. um, been around for 17 years now with the studio, uh, really proud of what we've achieved down there. They um, Already this year the, there's three of us working there, myself, Andy and Gordon. Um, we've won three awards already this year mm -hmm. and uh, I'm pretty proud of the fact that uh, we've got this little tiny studio down in Tall Point and uh, we, we've won 13 awards in the studio now. Wow. Um, yeah, I, uh, I did go all the way to Bangkok and worked at the first um, Thailand International Convention back in 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, came back with an award which, were, which was awesome because uh, there were some of the world's best tattooists working there. Mm -hmm. So that was one of my high moments. Um, I'm also proud to work today because uh, there's two, two other studios, three other studios here. Um, Colin at Liberty Inc, Trev and Trina at Tamar Tattoos, and also Chunky at Flying Juice, who have all they all began their careers in my studio. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We just interviewed uh, Tamar. That's right, Trevor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we interviewed the lady. The lady, the lady Trina, lady. did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was quite nervous. Yeah. Well, Trevor, <laughs> but, uh, Trevor and Colin both both started off in my studio and. You know, I kind of taught them and nurtured them, and, mm. and now they're they're doing great things in their own studio. And we've got so. an Exeter tattoo parlour here as well today. Well, so I'm, glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you managed. Is yeah. nice to have one of as course, well. Of course, of uh, course. It's, it's, we've covered. I don't know. I mean, we've covered two both counties as well. Yeah, sure. that's true. So. Three counties. We've got Devon, Devon and Cornwall. Oh yeah, sorry too. We haven't Devon got Somerset. Cornwall. I don't think we have, to my knowledge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, so. What do you like doing? You know, what do you like tattooing? I mean, being um, a tattoo artist. Well, you know, the studio I have, we're a, we're a custom studio, um, and we we keep ourselves very versatile. Um, we try not to um, go if it go off into one particular style, mm. because obviously, if you're open to the general public, you've got to be prepared and be able and capable to um, tattoo anything they come in and ask for. Obviously we don't tattoo everything they come in and ask for. No. Um, that's not how uh, you know, professional studios work. No. Um, you know, we put, on, put in our own, um, uh, our own twist to work and uh, yeah. most of the things we, we tattoo, we draw ourselves. No. Customers come in for an idea, mm -hmm. we take it away for a, a, a week or so and, yeah. um, and then produce you know, a one-off tattoo for them. So. Mm -hmm. You know, but my personal um, preference is uh, Japanese. I do, I do enjoy doing Japanese work. I find it very versatile. Um, it's great for cover-ups, mm -hmm. which uh, is something else we all have to be good at nowadays to own a studio. Um, and uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Japanese is probably it for me. Gordon, the other guy in my studio, he he particularly likes traditional work, the old you know old style traditional tattoos. Um, so we've got a good, you know, we've got a good, a good mixture in the studio. Cool. A good mixture, yeah. Cool. So it's like I said, it's gone down really, really well, I think, with the tattooing. Uh, I think so in too. Yeah. And hopefully you'll come back again next year. When if there's on. another one, I will think be there here. will be. According to yeah. Chris, I think they're very keen to get Brilliant. you all back again next Brilliant. this well, time next year. We'll hopefully. be here to support you. Definitely. Sure. Anyhow, Mark, I'd like to thank you for this very quick, short interview because we're trying to welcome. get as many in as possible. Yeah. But uh, hopefully we'll do this again this time next year. Great. Look forward okay, to it. Right. Take care. Cheers. Nice right. to meet Bye -bye. you. Thanks, Cheers. mate. Great.